All right, guys, here's how you connect a order printer to your Clover device. This one's a fun one and it's actually pretty easy. So first you're gonna go to the printers app, which is located on the home screen of your Clover device, right here, you see it says printers. So now automatically, obviously for the station, you're gonna have your station printer because that's plugged in into the base of, the, uh, of your actual screen, but we're gonna do an order printer. So first thing you always do is select the green plus arrow on the bottom right, which you can see right here. Go ahead and select it. Now you have a option, receipt or order printer. We're gonna do order, obviously. Now we have our Star SP700 kitchen printer already plugged in and connected to ethernet. Please make sure that it's plugged in into a wall outlet and connected into the ethernet port on the back of the kitchen printer, okay? So if it's not properly connected, it won't even show up here. So we know that this one is properly connected. Go ahead and select star SP700 and it should automatically go. Now I'm gonna do a test print. You always wanna make sure. And in the next room, we'll have the receipt with the order ticket. All right, guys, here's the star SP700 printer. We're just gonna go through a couple basic things about it. First, we're gonna show you guys how to load paper in. So we're gonna have Mike demonstrate that for us. There is a clip right here that you wanna just press down and that will open up your paper compartment. That's first. So Mike is gonna head and load in the paper. You always wanna make sure that it's all the way at the bottom and that the paper is feeding through when you close it. So now when you close it, you're gonna see if you did it right, the printer will automatically cut off the remaining pieces of paper. And that's it. And here is how to change the ink. So if you realize that the ink's low on your uh, printer, we're gonna show you how to do that again. You're gonna click that flap, open it up. You wanna make sure that the ribbon part is pointed down into the device, just like that, exactly. And that little nub right here, you wanna make sure this is pointed up at all times. It should just automatically go in. You'll feel it click. Go ahead and close it up. And that's it. All right, guys. So a lot of times with restaurants, pizzerias, a lot of places, you need to uh, select specific printers for specific items. So I'm going to show you how to do that now. So you're actually going to want to go to your inventory screen and select inventory. Now, on Clover, designated printers are called labels and select labels. What we're gonna do here is gonna add a label. Bottom right corner, green icon for plus. I'm gonna name this one kitchen. Hit done. So now any items that you wanna add that will print out in the kitchen, you can do that here. So right here, you're gonna select green plus and you're gonna add an item. So let's say it is a burger. The burger is 15 bucks. You're gonna see, uh, sorry. You're gonna see that here. Any categories you wanna add it to, add it to the burgers category, obviously, and any modifiers. So sides, temp, do it like that. Go ahead and select save. So now that item, that burger, will print out in your kitchen printer automatically. You don't have to select any buttons, it's done. All right, here's how to Edit a order printer name or any printer. Select the printer you want to adjust. Now, since we selected the Star SP700, that's our order printer. So only order tickets will go to that one and not payment tickets. So here, we're going to label this one as kitchen. Just have it checked off there with that blue check. Hit save. So now, any items with the label kitchen will print out to that Star SP700 order printer. All right, guys, so here's how to delete a printer out of, your, uh, out of your printer's app. So the reason why you would do this is, let's say a kitchen printer goes down, you need to delete it because you got your replacement in. Then select that printer you want to delete. Let's say it's this Star SP700. There's a garbage can icon on the top right. You're gonna select that, and guess what? It's gone.